Hey Reflections, so this weekend was really, really, really tough. <laughs> I mean, super tough. A lot of thoughts came up, a lot of energy I had to clear, and I wanted to share this story with you guys because it happened just the other day, and if it happened to me, it happened to somebody out there. So. I realize that I'm just kind of going along and figuring it out by myself and I have recently found new material that goes completely against everything that I had thought true again breaking belief systems and patterns of beliefs so this was very hard to look at and to observe and to confront and to surrender to. So I was watching this lecture and it all started this way. I was watching this lecture and I asked my higher self, is this truth? And of course I had this intense experience that lasted quite a long time and I wanted to share this with you. So. I realize that when life gives you a lot of negative experiences and suffering, it is to catapult you to evolution, involuntary evolution, as some people say. And I realize when I am facing these so-called hardships, I prepare myself before them. So when they come, I am voluntar voluntarily evolving, not involuntarily evolving. And that is the important the most important part. You know, understanding that there is a time where things have to change and my life as I know it is changing and it's scary, of course, but I know within my heart that I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And this is an experience that is only going to make me grow. And I refuse to identify with suffering because that's just not within my nature anymore. And I had such a difficult experience this weekend. Uh, but again, I wasn't denying that I was going through change and I wasn't uh, feeling like a victim. You know, I wasn't feeling that something is happening to me. It's going and flowing with the change and accepting and surrendering it. So that's what's happening within my life. There's a lot of changes and it's scary, but you know what? It's just like any other psychedelic experience, going through the unknown and coming out alive and surviving and knowing that you could do it and knowing that there's just so much more to life than this. <sighs> Anyway, so I'm going to talk about my experience that I had and you know, when people told me before or when I was looking at YouTube videos before and people would say they would have this psychedelic experience without the use of psychedelics because of my belief systems, I thought it was BS, honestly. And I thought it was BS until I experienced it. <laughs> So it all started off with questioning, questioning my belief systems. That's the important part. Observing and questioning my belief systems. Where is this coming from? You know, what is this message saying? Is this message truth? And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I feel this pang in my heart chakra. And it was this intense pain that I felt like it was almost, I knew it was energy coming out. I knew it was releasing that energy that I was holding on to. Uh, but at that point in time, of course, the first thing your head goes to is I'm dying. I'm having a heart attack. But I knew because I asked my higher self and my team this question and I had that immediate response of the heart chakra clearing and all of this Ne negative energy and also hurt in my heart released. I knew 
that I wasn't dying. The second thing that happened as I was having this energy release, I was having this psychedelic experience. Now, I have had experiences that I felt like I was in a psychedelic space, but this happened again, no meditation at that time, um, no, um, and no binaural beats, nothing. It was just, and no marijuana, none of that stuff. It was just completely on its own through this experience of observation and questioning and reflecting. And then all of a sudden I had this experience. I felt like I was on acid. That's also why I've cut back on the chemicals and the psychedelics for now, because I'm having these experiences without the psychedelics. And that's also something to get used to, <laughs> you know? And as I was feeling like I was on, it was almost like that thought, you know, that thought experience of LSD. It was not visual. It was more of the thought of you are here for, and it gave me my download, you know, the soul mission. And it gave me just that much knowing of what I have to do, why I have to do this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, why I have to be the support system, why I have to be strong, even when chaos is in my space. And it made me realize, not just from, again, my perspective, but the perspective of one, and that was very powerful. Honestly, I don't know how I experienced this. It was just questioning my belief systems, okay? I thought that I had broken all of my belief systems, but there was some residual belief systems that I had not cleared. And once I questioned what this was, once I observed this, this psychedelic experience happened to me. And it was a very cosmic experience. The heart chakra was clearing for about 20 to 30 minutes. It lasted a really long time. I felt like I was under the influence of some type of narcotic or LSD or something like this for about 20 to 30 minutes as well. It gets really scary when these things happen to you without the use of psychedelics, but I know that this is what I wanted. This is the experience that I was looking for and I'm thankful that I had this experience and I'm just waiting for the next experience. So yeah, that was again, just, I'm learning so much. I'm learning so much in such a short amount of time that to process all of this information um, yeah, so, so quickly is a lot, <laughs> a lot. And I'm so thankful that I'm having this experience. I'm so thankful that I can share it with you. And I hope that I can encourage you guys to, again, question and observe your reality and try to understand that you're not alone you know we're, we're all going through this together and we're all learning from one another so I would learn something from somebody else's YouTube video and they learn something from me and we just learn together and we go through this together because unity at this time is so important and the more I go into myself the more I realize how important each and one of each one of us is in this time uh, because again we are all here to support one another and to love one another and to go into this together so I am not afraid I'm so excited but I am not afraid <laughs> but yeah there's a lot of stuff clearing uh, a lot of things in my life is changing and that's very new to me but just like this psychedelic experience I had yeah, the other day, when this was coming, I accepted it. I surrendered to it and I let it flow through me. And this is exactly how I think of obstacles now. And this is exactly how I'm going to react when they come into my space. So yeah, reflections, are you guys having also a difficult time with all of these energy shifts and all of this stuff going on? Please comment down below and let me know. 
Anyway, Reflections, I hope you're having an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Hey, Reflections, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.